most venerable Mahasangha. Here today, we have all together, getting together, successfully performed a ceremony which produces us an enormous lot of merits. So we have all been lucky enough to become members of the merits, owners of the merits, which is the symbol of happiness. So we write guidance given by the headman of Abhyarama Vihara in North London. You as members in this event have gathered and appreciate merit. This merit to uh, make reference to what we have done today with that story. So once on one occasion, there was a, a Sakyan clansman called Mahana. While the Buddha was willing at Kapila Vastu in the temple called Mikrodhama, the Sakya, Sakyan clansman came to the Buddha who was an administrative officer in the government, in the kingdom. He Having worshipped the venerated the Buddha, sat aside, sat aside and called the Buddha, venerable Buddha. This city of Kapilavastu is so beautiful, prosperous, and is of great beauty. So when I entered the city after the veneration for the Buddha and Mahasangha, my mindfulness Buddha. In the Buddha, Dhamma, Dhamma means the teaching of the Buddha, and the Sangha, the members of Mahasangha, the members of monks, is muddled. So the Buddha, in some occasion, when I enter the city, I happen to accompany, associate with stray horses, stray elephants, carts, and persons. When I, I am among them, my mindfulness is lost. I am no more mindful. So in one such time, if I were to die, where would my birth take place as the next birth? In this occasion, we have been seen the Dhamma. Buddha said, Don't feel fear, Mahanama. Repeated the Buddha three times said, Not to feel fear. And Buddha proceeded in his talk, he said, A person who has long been able to develop and build with sadha, that is faith, sila, which is termed in English as ethics or morality, and then sutta, sutta means learning the what the Buddha taught, that is the, the universal truth. And Chaga, Chaga which refers to the term generosity in English. Don't know whether it's uh, well turned or not. And the, the last, the wisdom, Panya. 
If somebody has long been able to develop and build with these five aspects, his birth or even after the death would not be a bad one. Buddha gave an example here, Prince Suppose a man sink a pot of ghee deep in a pond and break it, breaks it. Buddha asked what, will ha what would happen? The answer is the chips of it, chips of the pot and shards of the pot would go downwards, right? And then the ghee of it, the oil of it would rise upwards, go higher places. Only we, as we all know, oil does not sink in the water, it goes up. Similarly, the one who has been long been able to develop all these five, which if I refer back, faith, ethics or morality, learning, learning Dhamma here, it refers to learning Dhamma, the teaching of the Buddha, and generosity, and the last is Panya. If somebody has been able to, or can be lucky enough to, develop all these five, his death, even our, his, his uh, the destination would be rising up, would be going higher. The mind of such person would rise up and go higher, goes to a higher place. So, Buddha said to uh, Sakya clansman Mahanama not to fear fear. I refer to this incident that took place in the time of the Buddha to refer to the importance of the time duration we dedicate for this ceremony called Katina Ceremony. Dear friends in the Dhamma, it's not today we started this event. This was started uh, nearly four months ago in the, on the boy day in July. So from that day, having observed the Vasa uh, retreat by Venerable Naya Tero of Abhyara Vihara, Venerable Tap Panamule Tapasi Naya Tero, he was invited by you all to observe the retreat and with your invitation, he being in the temple has done his part. Simply because he performed his part as a monk, this would not, this event would not become a success. So it's partly depending on the monk's part, monk's view, and the other part, this part number two, is mostly depend on the the ones who are the devotees of the temple. So you, as devotees, uh, whether or not you took part on that occasion have invited him. So your part started from that day, the part, the views of the monk was also started on that day. So from that day there is a special rule to follow by the monks and by you all as the devotees. So Buddha as very often referred to as told to make the maximum use of this time duration to accumulate more and more merit, to make your life more prosperous. Your, that is on, not only your spiritual worldly life, it also refers to the development of spiritual life. The, the friends in the Dhamma, the more effort you can take during this time, unlike in other months or other periods of the year, you can make a lot of efforts to gain merits. Your mind, which is very often get polluted because of the things that we associate, can be purified. Now, we at home, 
we normally keep our try to keep our home clean and whenever we are uh, in, a, in a setup we try our best to keep it clean and we wash ourselves to keep ourselves clean all every all the efforts we uh, take to keep things which we see outside and around us to keep clean but think twice or several times to see whether we have taken any measures or action to keep our mind clean like the dustbin the windows have been everybody comes and put things which are of no use so it gets filled and soon after it got filled we normally remove it but we do not do the same to our mind things things that happens around us and the ones we see mostly bring us roots uh, for evil thoughts and thoughts and thoughts to arise when some we see people sometimes we make our own decisions in our mind that we either get angry or are greedy become greedy or sometimes we are delusional so because of all these unwholesome some roots our mind is often get polluted so if we make efforts to uh, gain merit especially during this month in which the monks are mostly uh, within the temple premises to gain merits our minds will also become somewhat purer than otherwise so this time period should be made use to do that due because we are all living today we don't know what will happen tomorrow we live in a country like uk might feel we are safer but wherever the human beings are or beings are they are all subject to impermanence and some day or other to die so we don't know the day, day of our death but the buddha always has advised us to make this valuable human life use to make it purer so the so the more we the more merit we will we can gather the the purer our minds will be so when the mind is pure it will become a pleasant mind so when we work with a pleasant mind whatever we do will be things of pleasant results so if we can make efforts to uh, gain regain this humanity again and over and over again it will be one of the greatest things that we should have achieved in our life as buddha has said it is not just to enjoy life that we are being born as human being buddha wouldn't have advised us like this if we were born if we, if we happen to be born as animals or in other uh, evil realms we are human beings who can develop the mind animals say dogs or cats can't develop their mind because they are born to a, a realm where they cannot anymore develop their mentality so we as human beings can do it to the best and it was uh, one of the human beings who became a buddha and paved the paved the path for everyone to become the buddhas so taking that into consideration if we can make the maximum use of the time duration beginning from july to uh, november the boy day of november uh, we can become lucky ones you are happy today because we have seen things which are pleasant this happiness will fade away if you will not take uh, an idea uh, to continue uh, the strength that you have gained today strength to suppress or eliminate your greed things that can suppress you are and and things that can suppress or eliminate your delusion so that your mind will be pleasant so uh, if you are all without saying i am busy like the sakya mahanama who was an administrative officer in the kingdom took enough uh, effort to continue the mindfulness in the buddha and his teaching associating the mahasangha your life will also be one such great so 
to become one like Mahanama, we must make effort. And one day or other, our destination will thus become a pleasant one. And that should be the target. Since we do not know whether we will be living uh, tomorrow or in the future a longer time. So it is today that you must make effort and this time period is the best time period when the monks are available in big number in the temple. So uh, it's at the end of the day, uh, the event of the uh, starting ceremony in year 2018, this advice should be working out in your mind from next July to uh, next uh, for a day of November, month November. So that you will be ones, the lucky ones like Mahanama and the destination would be a happy one. And try your best, try make your best efforts to uh, make your destination a happy one like Mahanama had done in his videos, though he, or even though he was uh, such a busy person. With that invitation, I wind up my talk for today and uh, may the merits that we have gained by doing all these uh, things appreciated by the Buddha may be uh, transfer merits to all the departed ones by our names, especially the, uh, the sponsorship given by a uh, Hiruni, uh, Miss Hiruni and her family. Uh, and by all, by the names of you all, may all the departed one by our names be rejoiced with these merits and may their lives be happy one in their existence. Ultimately, may they all attain the supreme bliss of Nibbana, Sesabi. And may the merits that we have again be with the gods, and may the divinity of the gods uh, be rejoiced and shared with, by the power of these merits and may ultimately all the gods be liberated from eternal suffering and may they all attain supreme bliss of Nibbana Sesadu. And may the uh, Naya Devo who guided you is right way to make this a success and the family who sponsored this time uh, for the cutting ceremony and all the members who have taken part in this Merits are the, the owners of the merits. May the power of these merits be with all of us. And may our lives be spiritually and worldly be successful. And the, uh, we as Buddhists believe the next birth be also a happy one. And uh, may we be lucky enough to be born as human beings and gain merits. And may we be able to strong enough to continue the development of our mind and ultimately may we all attain the supreme bliss of the Bhagavan.